Hey guys, how's it going? This is uh, Briar Wolf, I guess I'm, is what I'm called right now. So, um, I am here to talk to you about Odin's Sphere today. This is a game that I'm doing a nice little unboxing on. Um, as we can see the back here. Um, so this is a game based in, roughly, in Norse mythology, put out by Atlas. Uh, this is a remake of a PS2 game, like a remastering, basically. Uh, and this is a special edition. Uh, it's done in the same way that Muramasa, Demon Blade, or Dragon's Crown is. Uh, everything is hand-painted, and it looks really nice, which is part of the reason I love all of those games. You can bet that I'm probably going to be either streaming this or playing this on the channel at some point. Maybe I'll do a little review or something like that, and then I'll just stream the rest of the game. The art is the main reason I bought this, though. I got a hardcover art book. I got a t-shirt and a, as we saw in the back earlier, and a art print. I think that was it. So anyways, you can just see me opening it up here. Uh, while I'm at it, though, talking about the new things, as you can see, we are no longer GLS. We are the Omega Bros. So you can bet Simply Kish and I will be back at it again soon. We want to do some... Mario Kart Double Dash, we want to go through it and like get everything a hundred percent. So we've all I'm also thinking about doing a charity live stream on that, but not sure yet. So don't count on it. None of this is uh, official other than the new name and stuff like that. We also don't really schedule things. You know, it's all about having fun again. So as I said in the last video. And I finally got it open, so let's see what we got here. This is the premium, like, box, like, uh, the premium cardboard on the outside looks really nice. Comes with a back piece of the map of the whole game, which is really cool. I have also been playing a lot of Overwatch and been thinking about streaming that. Tell me if you want to see that in the comments. And we do have a few pop openings, so also tell me if you want to see that in the comments, and I'll link to one on the uh, back end of this video. So here we're looking at the steel bookcase it comes with, which is really cool. It doesn't, the game itself isn't in the case, which I can appreciate. I like that, yeah, I can keep the metal case separate from the actual, like, case of the game, so that if I want to keep the metal case in the box, I can, uh, like, it's not going to get scratched or anything. Um... And we'll open up the game later. But this is the t-shirt. It comes in a men's, like a unisex large. So hopefully if you wanted to buy this kind of game, you wouldn't be. That's that's generally what I, I've gotten a few games that come with a t-shirt. And they usually come with a unisex, like large or extra large. So if you're planning on ever getting a game with like a t-shirt or clothing, just know that's kind of what they go with as like the standard for at least America. I'd also like to say I appreciate all the extra stuff they gave you. This is the kind of way that I like special editions to come. And it was only 80 bucks compared to the regular 60 I think. Or maybe the remastering was 40 I can't remember. So, But 40 extra bucks for a bunch of other stuff. I would have loved it on Dragon's Crown to get like a hardcover art book and a t-shirt and stuff like that. That would have been cool. As you can see, all the art is amazingly like hand-painted and stuff like that. I can't tell you how many hours must have gone into the art for the games. And I'm pulling out the art book right now. So it's a 40-page hardcover art book for this one. You, can't, you could have also gotten, just for pre-ordering it, a softcover art book. But I wanted the hardcover, so... Going to open it up and show you a little bit. We got... The main character and the cat like sitting over there when she was younger reading a book. We have another picture of the map going on here. You have me waving around the camera making everybody sick a bunch of times. Here we have like the main first character that you'd probably play as. I mean, you could play as five characters and they have five different stories, but this is probably the usual go-to like first character. Which is pretty cool. I've seen some cool cosplays of her. Has a ballerina type like fighting look with like a spear. She's also kind of like a Valkyrie with the wings. Next up we have this guy. I don't know if they're like, I think they're connected. So 
but the rabbit is, I think, the main person in the group. I think the guy is maybe a spellcaster. We have, like, a fairy type. She's got a giant-ass crossbow. And I don't know if that's, like, the great fairy, but... You got some big old titties. I don't know why they like to do that. They did it in Dragon's Crown, too. They just gave all the, like, every girl except for the elf really huge, gigantic, like, overemphasized boobs. And here we see another character that I'm ready to play, and I actually would like to cosplay at some point. I didn't read his name, but damn, that hair, though. Love me some white or silver hair. Uh, this one's Velvet. I don't know what's up with all the uh, fabric names lately, but Fire Emblem had that too, at least in Japan. She got that ass, though. They, they keep doing that. I don't know why they make, like, all the art is amazing, but they make everything super sexualized. I don't know why. Not that I care. I mean, I don't, it's not offending me at all, but I know to some people it does. Here we got some enemies and stuff like that. I think it's always really cool to get a look inside the people's heads, especially because I would like to make games as well, so... It's always good to see what they were thinking when they were making characters and stuff like that. Got some executioner guy over here and some like wizards and I really like the slimes over there in the corner. Uh, this is like a fire level which I thought was really cool. A mushroom giant and some like fairies and stuff again. This is like an ice level. All the colors are really beautiful. All the art is amazing. And as usual, uh, if you've played Dragon's Crown, they also had really tasty looking food. It looks like you actually like want to grab it and eat it. Looks amazing for like health. Um, and here's Odin himself. Really cool character design. Thought it was awesome. Really good colors. This is another god of some sort. Brigan. Have not heard of him. Uh, fire god, I'm assuming, with another dat ass on dat demon with some chains, and he got some, see that ass, and then he got some nice hair, cool silver hair, love it. This one's got some weird, like, the boobs are just pointing everywhere, I can't, I don't know what's going on there. I mean, they obviously know what they're doing, they're not untrained artists, it's just really weird to see. Got some cool dragons, like some UI and stuff like that, health potions, that kind of crap and then we just have some art which is pretty cool some art pages which you could probably sell these at like anime conventions and get 30 bucks for them a piece I would assume and that was it so with that I'd like to thank you for watching look forward to some more stuff oh but we do have one more thing have to open this actual game and remember, kids, don't play with knives. This is only for box openings and eating food. And maybe, like, hunting or something. Okay, we gotta unwrap this plastic nice and mint fresh game. And it's just the game. I mean, there's they don't put in uh, manuals or anything anymore, really. So it's just the game that we will be playing soon. Either on the channel or over the... Uh, Twitch. So thanks for watching and we'll see you later. Also, while I got you here, don't forget to comment, rate, or like, uh, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.